All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. Uh, don't want to get too far forward yet. We're going to start working on our hills and trees that are going to be behind the mill. Uh, tell you what we're going to do. We've got to get some tree trunks going up into here so we can put some foliage on it. Uh, we'll take some of this ultramarine blue, put it in here, and we'll grab some burn umber, which is a good dark color. I just want to make a, a dark color, but not an overwhelmingly dark. I mean, it's Let's do this. Ultramarine blue, my burn number, get it mixed in there. And let's cut in a few trunks back here in the background, so that are coming up through here. And, you know, that might fork and head off, and just trees are going to be in the background. And they don't all have to be straight. I mean, they can go different directions. This tree's going to kind of wind up like this. And, uh, it's got a fork here, and it's moving on up into here. And, See, it's coming up kind of behind those bushes there, and a little limb coming off here, heading out into there, and just put, we can grab some of that white while it's there, we'll use it. Light's hitting on that tree somewhere. Kind of pull some strokes around, kind of make it look rounded more like a tree, and so grab that stroke and pull it around the tree. There we go. Roll that a little bit. So, this some dark colors. Give me some. Give me some. Some things for foliage back in there. And again, I used uh, my ultramarine blue. So this burnt sienna. Mix the two together. Grab some burnt umber. And just cut me in some tree trunks. Cut them off into there. Different sizes, shapes, even different angles. One might be laying over, but it's going over towards the sunlight. A smaller one, trying to get out to the where the Sun's going to hit on it. We put foliage on it. Get some trunks one up into here. And, uh, so here's the, we're, we're close enough to the mill. There's going to be some good sized trees here. See, all that back there was, was back there. That's all background stuff. There's trees heading off here and push these limbs into different places. Don't be afraid to cut strokes in there. And every once in a while, like I say you have a tree that's leaning a little bit. There'll be some back there, so we got to kind of paint it in there now because it'll be hard to do it once we put all these spokes on. Put those spokes on the wheels, say I want the spokes to go over those trees like that. That wooden wheel will come across it, see. But it leaves that tree back there in the background, that's what we want. The wheel's going to come like this and come right across that, see. So you're just playing. I, if you send me a roll back out of the picture, I've got to get back myself so I can see what's going on sometimes. Now, I grabbed a little bit of white a while ago that worked pretty good, so I'm going to grab a little bit of that now, put in with this. A little bit of yellow ochre. A little more white there. Sunlight color on some of these trees, so we know the sun, where the sunlight's coming from, right? And pull that around the tree. Pull that stroke around, see. Just hitting on that fork. And some places where that sunlight's going to be hitting to come around that tree and just. Pull that stroke like it's wrapped around that tree, see? Get a little bit of right there by the water. A few strokes back in here, there will be light. So remember in the forest you have canopies. You have a low canopy of uh, some trees and you'll have the higher canopies. So we're just trying to paint canopies. Getting those sunlights coming from up there, which on this one would come to this side. See that in there and a few strokes in here. The light's hitting right in there. Just cut in some strokes. Something to paint into. Something to paint into right there next to the water. Coming out to the water. 
you're seeing these reflections of these trees coming out into the water too. Let's make sure to get into there. And we want to do our wheel. The reflection of the wheel coming, kind of see. Paint it into there. We want that to reflect down into here. I'm going to grab some of this uh, phthalo green. Uh, where's my, again, yeah, a little more of this burnt sienna. Mix those two together, give me a good dark green. So I got a little bit of white in my brush, which is fine. That's going to carry on in. Give just more different colors in here. The shrubbery and the brushes that are down here at the base of the trees. and the, down next to the water. Let's carry some of that down into the water. I'm just going to grab some of this burnt sienna by itself, kind of bend it into here. regular burn umber and that phthalo green give me a good dark and I have this different I love a lot of different colors in my in my in my trees and as y'all if you ever watch me paint you've seen this. This is this foliage up under here. Dark foliage up more towards the top. Silo green, burnt sienna. This meal, you see, this water is because of all the dark around it. It's not that the water's dark, it's just all the reflections into the water. And see, so that'll give us a place to spill some water coming off this wheel out to the water. See, and work that out into there. See, you see how it'll just all come together and see the. I don't know. Sometimes it works. Keep piling it on. That's why they make it paint. They call it paint. Keep going after it. Y'all come. 